Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Perfume Guru and today I have the latest perfume release from the house of Ansar Oud and this is Hajar Aswad Concentrated Perfume Oil or other. Have a look at that beautiful brown yellow color and this is by the way a recovery vial hence the bullet like shape and uh, these vials, these thick glass vials are very helpful in preserving these precious oils for a very long time. So in case you are a collector, this is one thing that you need to be aware of and the option of getting this recovery vial instead of the regular glass bottle is available on Ensa's website. Coming back to the fragrance, this fragrance has very uh, unique top notes. What I get uh, from this fragrance at the top is a very a beautiful note of the pandanus flower, the rich exotic Ruh Kevda note. That's what it's called locally in India. It's found all along the coastal regions on the western side of India. And it's a very unique sort of flower. It is tropical, it is creamy, it's sweet, but it's incensey. Uh, and uh, anyone uh, who's putting his nose for the first time might think that it's a perfume in itself because it's very complex it's almost icy cold and uh, it's got a nice uh, minty sort of vibe to it as well very refreshing almost uh, what you get from a citrus fragrance not the smell but the refreshing aspect and that Ruh Kevda is very prominent and a very interesting combination of Ruh Kevda with cinnamon cinnamon accord used here is very rich it's a natural sharp sweet cinnamon accord which you do not usually find in perfumery uh, a lovely combination i believe there but there's this certain mustiness coming from the use of either labdanum or or this 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 rose which i've also experienced in one of sultan pasha's creations uh, uh, sultan pasha is one of the most respected uh, other makers in the world so he has this beautiful perfume known as Ensar Rose I get that creamy musty sort of rose accord here it's almost like sniffing white uh, uh, rose auto and that that is in complete contrast to these two ingredients at the top and I feel that that kind of uh, doesn't go well with the composition so there's definitely some bias some personal bias however you may enjoy it uh, this is just my personal taste and it really shouldn't matter but that's how i honestly feel it's kind of an odd note and this could have been done much better that mustiness the this this mustiness i find in most amber rich fragrances including the opus 6 the luxurious opus 6 from the house of Amwash, the library collection, the exotic perfume collection. And I had to sell my brand new bottle because after the first two sprays, I just couldn't take that musty rose anymore. However, that's my skin. On other people's skin, it might perform completely differently. Let's enter the dry down. And this is full of rich woody notes. And um, it's a very unique oudi note. This oud is completely devoid of any animalic elements and of course because it's ensar oud this oud is definitely polished you also get hints of sandalwood you also get hints of something beautiful sweet in here which is incensey almost like nag champa incense and um, this is a truly exotic feel this i think is one of the best artist artisanal signatures out there in the perfume world and um, this is something which has been you know, recreated with most of Ansar's um, uh, creations like Sultan Leather Rathar and Ansar number one perfume. I think he is deliberately putting this because he loves this accord which he calls Agar Rose, by the way. So, if you're a fan of that dry down of Ansar number one and Sultan Leather Rathar, you'll definitely enjoy that. And that is the more prominent part of the other because the top notes. Uh, they go away in in a, in a couple of hours and the remainder of this fragrance on your skin will definitely be completely agar rose it's definitely unitonal as described by ensar and it is one of the most exquisite notes that that my nose has ever uh, experienced it's beautiful and it's diffusive uh, that note kind of spreads in the air and it, it leaves a huge trail of uh, almost like a pure uh, beautiful air scented bubble around you an airy bubble around you which uh, by the way many people enjoy 
So it's not like a strange uh, other note, an oriental note that people are not familiar with. It, it feels familiar, even though it's completely alien, it feels very, very familiar. And that's why people give compliments to this other. And just in case that's your jam, you'll definitely love the attention that you get with this. Um, you, I don't get any musky elements. I don't get any leathery nuances from this fragrance. So just in case you are expecting a traditional Hajar Aswad fragrance to have uh, some of these elements, it's completely devoid of all that. Because many other Gulf companies have created this Hajar Aswad perfume with basic ingredients like musk, rose, sandalwood, oud. This is completely different and it's very high quality. Uh, you cannot reproduce such scents on a low budget, really. So please don't expect... Um, conventional market uh, fragrance smell from this. This is very special and exotic. The fragrance costs 165 US dollars for 2.5 grams, which in my humble opinion is priced quite right because some of these fragrances can go really, really high as far as the pricing, and cons pricing is concerned. Um, uh, some of these others can reach 550 uh, even for a mere 3 grams. So guys, this is a good price and a very good introduction to the house. However, however, let me be very clear here. If you have Sultan Leather Atta, if you have Ansar Number no. 1, you could completely skip this fragrance and have no worries. Uh, because I think it's more about the base notes, which you already sniffed before. So that is one thing that I feel Ansar should correct in his uh, later creations. I think his infatuation with that Agar Rose Accord. Uh, should be used in a different way in a different manner so that it's not too prominent uh, it's not the pivotal accord in any other of his newer creations and that will kind of help him so that's my honest advice to the to, to the great artist and um, yes that was my review of Hajar Aswad from the house of Ansarud and this was pretty much anticipated and uh, many people gave uh, sent me requests uh, to review this one so here is my honest review guys and um, yes i'm sure many of you have already sampled it so i would love to hear your thoughts and comments uh, so please feel free to express yourself in the comment section down below and i'll be back with another review pretty soon until then take care bye bye